Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Kate and this is Nurture Nature and I am today at a different location on a very windy day and I've come to get some inspiration and some ideas for our allotment. So let's have a look. So I'm at a family member's allotment here, or vegetable garden, and I love all these neat raised beds, all ready for planting. We've got a nice little bug hotel over here, and all down this edge we've got some wild flowers. So I definitely want something like this in our garden, where we can have some wild flowers. seen some of my other videos you will see that we have made some leaf mold um, and put them in bulk bags now I thought this was a good idea because it lets the air get to all the leaves so I think I might create something like this either this year or next year um, just a wire cage with some canes in on the ground just so that we can put all the leaves in so they don't fly away but the air can still get to it and we can turn it over rather than having a bulk bags where there's no air. So I think I'll try that. So that's another new idea. This I thought I might do. We want to grow some peas or mud beans this year. So I thought I might dig a trench and start putting my compost in to enrich the soil. So I think I'll do that in our cut flower bed, have a trench for our peas or our beans and start collecting our kitchen waste to put in there. It's just started to rain a bit gone really really windy so it's the next day and it's a lot calmer the wind has died down and it's a glorious sunny day um, it's still quite chilly but it's nice to see the sun out and feel the sun on our face so we've got a couple of beds down the side of our garden which I really want to improve this year it's one of my goals for this year is to improve the two flower beds the two main flower beds in our back garden and I'm really trying to make sure that it looks good throughout all the year. So um, I'm trying to get inspiration at the moment for all the plants which look good in winter. that either have really good strong foliage or that have beautiful flowers. So I'm trying to find things, get some inspiration, pick some things out um, so we can plant them now. And then make sure I leave enough space for all the bulbs to come up in spring and then we'll have some beautiful flowers in the summer as well so hopefully there'll be interest in our borders all the way through the year and that's sort of my goal this year is to try and really establish our borders a bit more so this is a camellia this we've actually got one of these at our house although ours is a lot smaller um, so it's really lovely foliage in the winter really thick glossy leaves and you can see some buds are coming um, and this is I know this camellia has sort of bright red flowers which come out in the summer but that's really good for winter because it's nice and thick and glossy you've got a couple of things here which I really want to get I don't know if this is some sort of hebe the ends of each little branch have got these purple leaves so the purple tipped so they're beautiful and then we've got this beautiful tree here I think it's some sort of catkin and it's got these long catkins and they've got a sort of a hint of purple but when you stand back they look really silvery almost like Christmas decorations on a tree so that's really beautiful I didn't realize you could have so much interest in the winter there's so many things 
I think it's about planning your garden and making sure that you have enough things that look good in the winter and enough things that look good in the summer and the spring. This must be some kind of choice here. We have a choice here that does really well in our garden. So um, we might have to get another one to put on the other side of our bed. Over here, this is a pittosporum. I've actually got a pittosporum, although it's not this size. Let me stand back so you can see how big it is. It's really, really big. It's got this lovely silvery color to it with lovely dark stems. So that's really beautiful. So we have got one, but it definitely needs to grow a bit more. I really love this bush here. I think it's winter box and it smells amazing. Just these little flowers creating, creating such a beautiful fragrance. Amazing. This is really nice too. So it's a pyrus. So it's got these sort of flower buds, which are purpley. So that's really nice. And this is another plant which has beautiful flower buds. Um, this is a Skimia japonica. And when the flowers come out, they're actually white. So again, beautiful in the winter, great in the summer as well. So I think I'll need some of that. We've got some winter cyclamen here, which I definitely want in our garden. It's got these gorgeous leaves. And underneath, there's sort of this purpley colour on top. You've got this variegated colour and these really strong purple flowers. So really good for a little bit of ground coverage and a bit of colour in the winter. So I think I'm going to have to go shopping. I did get some garden vouchers for Christmas, so I'm definitely going to try and invest in a few really good plants for the winter. I've got loads of inspiration now um, and loads of ideas of which plants I want to get for our garden, which will help to make our borders look really good in the winter. So um, I hope you've been inspired too and um, that you've seen a few plants that you may want to get if you haven't got them already. Um, so I can't wait to go to the shops now and get a few plants and put them in our border and start planning. So thank you for watching my video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on Wednesday.